Let's say you are creating an artwork with some archers and you need to select her from this picture and you end up with this selection. And then when you place the archer in your artwork, you end up with this uh, part of the hair looking like that. Some people leave it like that thinking that it's okay. Some other people are trying to draw the hair by themselves. So they create a new layer and they try to draw the hair something like that on the sides, which is not bad. The result is much better than leaving the photo without this part that we are drawing. I'm doing this a lot of times when I'm doing my artworks. What if I tell you that there is another method? We can create a hairbrush from real hair, which will look like that. You can place it underneath the hair of your character, fix the color and then it will look amazing because it's a real hair. If you want to create a hairbrush to use it many times in your artworks, you must find photos like this one with a portrait with a white or a light gray background. And then to select the hair to use it as a hairbrush, we need to go to channels. If you don't know where the channels are, you can go to window and here you can select channels. We have three channels, red, green and blue. We need to see which one has the higher contrast. In this case of my photo, the one with the highest contrast is the blue one. I'm going to press counter and L or going to image adjustments and select levels. And now I'm going to drag the sliders to isolate the hair to uh, have it really really dark and the background uh, white and be sure not to ruin the hair because if you drag the sliders too much you are going to burn those areas so just keep in mind that you still need to see the hair like that then i am going to press ok i'm going to take the brush tool so press the letter b and i'm going to take the hard round brush and with the black color selected i'm going to paint on the areas that i need to hide and then I'm going to switch to the white color and paint on the areas that I don't want to keep. So with the white color, I'm going to paint on the image, everything except the hair part. And this is the part that I'm going to keep. As you can see, there's a difference between the background, the white background and um, the background that I have after I apply the levels adjustment layer. So we need to get rid of that. So how do I get rid of this um, different color? Uh, in my case, it's something like a gray pink color. So I'm going to take the dodge tool and here on the range, I'm going to select highlights. And with the white color, I'm going to paint on those areas and they will go away now. We still have uh, that uh, color between uh, the hair strands there and I'm going to uh, select a lower exposure, something around 10% and I'm going to paint but be careful not to, as I said, not to ruin that area if you paint uh, too much. When you finish just uh, press the letter C for the crop tool and I'm going to select the area that I want to keep as a brush. In my case this area. I'm going to uh, press enter and then to save this one as a brush I'm going to go to edit and choose define brush preset and I'm going to rename this one to hairbrush. To check if Photoshop saved this one as a brush let's press again the letter B and right click on the screen and at the end of all our brushes you'll see the new hairbrush. So if I'm selecting uh, this new hairbrush and I'm going to use uh, the black color you'll see that we have this one as a brush. I have an example here to show you how I'm using this hairbrush and I have this photo. Uh, I did my best to select the character but uh, as much as I tried the head part, the hair part, I couldn't select it uh, the way I want it. So let's duplicate this layer so you can see I'm going to erase the mask and I used select subject and Photoshop is selecting the character and then I press the mask and we have this selection. It looks great but I'm not really satisfied with the result because um, there are still some problems. Of course we can double click on the mask and go to the refine edge tool and we can select the second brush here the refine edge brush tool and we can uh, you know if you are not satisfied with the result you can play more with uh, this brush and uh, select 
some areas on the hair and then press ok so uh, this is the best i could do using uh, photoshop auto selection of course with the pen tool or other ways you can select it uh, in a different way but i think this is the best one so far so after photoshop finished the selection you can still see the color from the previous background in the hair so here there is some blue here on this area and the most visible is here on this area in order to get rid of that blue the easiest way is to create a new layer and i'm going to clip this layer inside the layer with the character so i'm going to hold alt and click between the layers then a really important step is to change the blending mode of this layer into color so click here where we have normal and select color and then take the brush to press the letter b right click on the screen and select the soft round brush then I'm going to hold alt and select a color from the hair let's say this one and you can see here the best we can see best that we still have that blue on the hair so let's decrease the flow to around 10 percent and if we start to paint you'll see that the hair has now a different color so i'm going to do this on the sides of the hair because or where i see some bluish uh, color and i'm going to have a different color at the end for the hair so we can use uh, that hairbrush that we just created and i'm going to create a new layer so let's create a new layer now let's press b again for the brush and the brush that we just created it's at the end of our brushes so this is the brush that we just have created let's change the flow again to 100 percent and now if i'm zooming out you will see that hairbrush that we just created so let's drag this layer underneath the layer with the character and let's make it smaller press ctrl t and make it smaller and now if we drag it underneath her hair you can see here on the right side that uh, our brush is uh, doing miracles because the hair looks perfect now with all those new parts that we have so you can duplicate this one first we can concentrate on the right side so on this side uh, we can uh, see if it matches the top of the head we can make it a bit uh, bigger uh, and when we are ready let's press enter and then you can select with the lasso tool you can select the areas that you don't want to keep so i'm going to select this part and just you can press delete or if you want to work with masks you can hold alt and click on the mask and that left area is gone now we can repeat the process do let's create another layer and take again this brush and we can uh, use it again and you can repeat the process for this uh, part also using the same brush or if you created more brushes you can use even more so i'm going to create a new layer press again that brush and in this case i'm going to right click and flip it horizontally and i'm going to uh, use it on the sides where i have that part of the hair that photoshop didn't really select it that well so depending on your character's hair you can you know uh, improvise for example here on this part i'm going to use the warp tool so i'm going to right click and use warp and I'm going to hold Ctrl and select this area and then click once on the screen. And I'm going to drag uh, this area a bit to match uh, the angle that we have there for the hair and just play around. Of course, there is a difference here uh, in colors, but you can, uh, you know, make this part of her hair another color. You can make it a bit darker. The easiest way is to create a new layer and clip it inside again by holding alt take for example the sovereign brush make it smaller and be sure that the layer is set to multiply and with the same dark brown color and the flow really low i'm going to paint on this area of her hair and i'm just going to make it uh, darker using a brush set to multiply and her hair now looks uh, much better I use this technique in all my art tours for a long time and I hope that I'm helping you to do the same and have much better results. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this method and if you'll use it too. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. I am Mr. 23, see you next time.